Hello, nice to speak to you all again. Uh, this is a reflection back on the energy of this year leading right through up to April. Uh, and there's definitely been a series of shifts and we've experienced them in different ways. I recall even feeling so in January and February, this feeling of uh, earth changes, shifts. When we talk about shifts, it's like an energy shift where things um, move and suddenly you're in a new plane of existence um, and this now you know as I say this sounds like such a sort of light great <laughs> energy description and yet a lot of us have been feeling the opposite of that quite sort of um, dense and intense and different and not knowing how to get things together and not knowing like what the heck is going on um so this is kind of crazy new weird kind of uh way of being that is so in the unknown yet it's in this spiral of evolution of consciousness where we're rising higher and higher yet we've been pulled down and under so everything in our universes operates via the law um the universal law of uh, duality right and polarity and so as we're spiraling upwards there's also a spiraling downwards so to speak so when we're feeling that spiral downwards it's like we're sinking down into the abyss and then there's that feeling of unknownness where we don't know what's happening we're not used to being in this space we don't know who we are anymore or some of us may be trying to hold on to some old aspects of self or really trying to get rid of those and bridge into new aspects which are coming through, but then nothing's quite there yet. So there's this feeling of, um, so the angel's showing me like tectonic plates which are moving around, um, there's cracks in between and they're not quite adjusting. So I've had this sort of image now for quite a while, um, the last few months of these kind of like moving, <laughs> moving plates that are not quite clicking together yet. So it's like a lot of moving parts, but nothing coming together. So there might be some areas where it's like, okay, finally that's come together a little bit, or I'm starting to see a little bit of something. And in other areas it's still all unknown and, and, and when's it ever going to uh, end or make sense or come together <laughs> and um, it's really strange because at the same time there's this feeling of underneath everything if you're a soul person if you're connected empathically if you're uh, you know connecting to your higher self you have this innate intuitive feeling and knowing that there is something more you're leading towards something you're growing you are becoming something more you're also having this great feeling of getting rid of stuff, you know, um, so not just concrete material stuff, you know, stuff in your home, clutter, digital clutter, all that stuff, but also uh, getting rid of old ways of being, people who no longer resonate with you, hobbies and activities which don't click anymore with you, and finding new ways of being, and it's just been this kind of haphazard <laughs> integration process which is not quite finalized for a lot of people um, and it will be coming together and moving you to a new area or platform so when we talk about energy shifts it's like all of a sudden you wake up and everything's different in a way like you're in a new reality and really over the years through my messages every now and again I do get these messages about this feeling of shifts as well as timelines changing so if you think of your life as being in a series of timelines where there's different options and levels and scenarios and uh, uh, choices avenues um, even just vibrational levels uh, we can jump from one to another completely haphazardly <laughs> seems to be the word coming through today um, or accidentally as well as uh, you can actually do so mindfully and knowingly Everything kind of falls into place in its own time. Hence, everything that happens to us energetically, astrologically, uh, cosmically, in our own private lives, internally, you know, in all ways, shapes and forms, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, all is kind of reaching to the point that it will click together. It's just been moving towards that in a way that feels like a wiggly woggly walkway, not quite straight <laughs> and not quite um, coming together yet. But it's all the pieces you will see in hindsight will click and realize and make sense later so that finally that jigsaw will start to not only the 
Angel's shown me um, start to click together to show form, but also a new picture, a new vista that you hadn't seen before, hadn't anticipated or even imagined. So really feel that energy now. And as that new face of that jigsaw appears, like all this light radiating and shining on it, then all those pieces would make sense how they've clicked in together. But also there's this offering, there's this realization and looking at that jigsaw puzzle that's now together with the light, all those pieces that you're on this other higher uh, realm or uh, plane of existence so that your reality has shifted to a new timeline. And so that's what we've been heading towards. So all along in this way through the series of shifts right through from January right through to now and still ongoing. Uh, the Schumann Resonance, which I'll be making a different video on that, um, is uh, is a measurement of the Earth's electromagnetic field and we're all electromagnetic beings and uh, it's been rising and having these spikes which has been happening uh, you know for several years now but this is what's been happening um, and this is where this high high energy comes in and either if you've still got stuff which is most of us to process um, if you're going through stuff it's going to escalate it's going to feel that's those moments where it feels so intense and you have all this anxiety and stress and you can't sleep and you're having restless nights and you're overthinking and analyzing and everything just seems so difficult and you're emotional and all that stuff or if you've worked through stuff where you're just in that private phase where it's good and there's more of a shift then you experience a kind of spiritual ecstasy in terms of a higher light uh a higher um, frequency feeling where you have this radiating joy and upliftment. But because there's been so many sort of changes that have not quite come together yet, it's been an odd kind of patchwork, so to speak. The angels show me this patchwork quilt where it's like all the pieces don't quite look like they fit together, like different pieces of material, but eventually it forms a nice hole and you have a lovely grandma's blanket. <laughs> Having said that, that notion of grandma or ancestry is also an aspect in terms of there's been this kind of odd uh, progression or evolution of consciousness and releasing at the same time so on one hand there's this stream of consciousness coming in and uprising and evolution on the other hand there's this releasing and letting go and realizing and and so in terms of your ancestry lines there's been a lot of sort of healing or trauma slash healing coming up and simultaneously working at the same time in fact um, my because I work with energy sometimes my hands do little energy things and as I was speaking and how I'm receiving the message one hand was going up and the other down so there's two things happening at once you have the trauma the down aspect and the healing going up and the rising so that you can become more of you on a soul level that's more you as a soul rather than you as a human who's embodied in your family line if that makes sense but that family line aspect is also something that will be continuing to heal and grow and transform but you've got to go there you've got to walk those pathways before that might have been a bit more scary or sort of denied it or uh, but I feel like if you walk that pathway, and the angels show me now that pathway is like a sort of labyrinth walk, a meditative labyrinth walk, and it will take you where you need to go for ultimate healing and transformation and evolution.